Hello and welcome to the short video introducing Unified Alarms and Conditions Server or UACS for Centum VP. Uh, in this short video, we're going to show some of the capabilities of UACS. Uh, UACS is a centralized alarm management system that helps drive compliance with ISA 18.2. Uh, UACS is responsible for implementing and maintaining uh, the alarms throughout the management life cycle. UACS shows the right alarm to the right person. Uh, in this short video, we're going to look at how UACS can filter alarms, uh, such as alarm priorities or different process units in the plant. We can build filters. Uh, in this uh, scenario, we can see we have active alarms on the HIS. Uh, by clicking on the top banner, we can see all the alarms that are active in the plant. Uh, let's say I only wanted to look at specific alarms. I wanted to filter all the alarms in the plant to specific conditions. By uh, clicking on the UACS toolbox, we can see we have uh, some tabs here. In this video, we're just going to show the alarm tab. Uh, subsequent video videos will show shelving and suppression. In this case, we have some filters available. Starting from all to process, these filters are predefined when we load UACS software. Using the UACS builder, we've developed some custom filters for critical, high, medium, and low alarms, as well as different process units in the plant, in this case, units A through B. If I wanted to look at only high alarms, I would click on that filter, and a separate window comes up. I can have up to eight of these windows active on a single screen with UACS. And in this case, this filter is only showing me the high priority alarms in the plant. If I wanted to look at only critical alarms, I would pick critical alarm filter. And in this case, we have one critical alarm. It's a flow unit, it's IOP. Uh, we've added some urgency to this alarm and some guidance to contact the unit engineer and a consequence that it could be a possible environmental impact if this alarm is not handled. If I wanted to look at only alarms for, uh, for example, unit C, we click that filter, and the alarms that are active only for process unit C are shown. So this is how you do filtering with UACS. If you'd like to know more about UACS, please contact your account manager. And thank you for listening.